So the first one is the miser, which plays the game called Preservation. People get upset when they take the quiz and they go, oh, crap, I'm a miser. But I also came from a family of misers. My great grandfather was a coal miner. My grandfathers were coal miners. There was strikes that would happen. There were times where the mines were shut down. That lack of stability created a place where they tried to hold on to all that they could. They double coupon clip. They knew where the cheapest gas was. They had food storage. There was all this stuff that kind of had them be weary, which to a planning standpoint could be helpful, but from a mindset standpoint where it's always about what you could lose and avoiding that, it gets to a place where there's limited growth. So on the flip side, that was the mindful manager. The winning persona is detail oriented. They're efficient. They're great at improving things. They're instrumental for organizations that are looking to, you know, enhance ideas and reduce waste. So it's really a perspective of if you're a mindful manager, you're co-creating, you're delegating, you're collaborating. If you're a miser, you're isolating, you're in scarcity, you're reducing.